Hey guys, and um, welcome to Jason Momoa News. I am going to be answering some of your questions. Um, a whole bunch of you wrote in with some really cool questions, and so I'm just going to get to it. Let's take a look at them. So, uh, let's see. How did you end up getting the role of Taylor Amogan in Stargate Atlantis? I auditioned, like, um, you know, we actors always do, and I uh, went through a number of auditions. I think I came back like four times. Uh, the first time was with the casting director, and then they brought me back to meet with a couple of the producers, um, some network guys, and then I got to meet with Joe, and then and then there was the network test, and uh, it, I went in, and uh, it all went great, and everybody shook my hand, and it felt like a sure thing, and then I was told that I didn't get it. I don't know who they gave it to, <laughs> but I didn't get it, so I moved on, and I went on to audition for other things and got excited about other projects, and then about two weeks after my audition for Stargate, I found out that I did get it, and I had to hop in my car, I threw my sweet little dog at the time in my car, and I drove up to Vancouver, and the rest is history. Let's take a look at the next one. Uh, did you have to learn martial arts for the role? Yes. Yeah, I did. So, originally, when um, they conceived of the character of Taylor, she was not, she was not really a fighter. Um, I think she was more kind of um, spiritual, um, tapped in, um, very intuitive, um, diplomatic, etc. All of those wonderful things that made up Taylor, but she wasn't, she wasn't a fighter. And I come from a dance background, so when um, James Bamford, who was the stunt coordinator at the time, when he saw me, um, he figured that I might be able to handle a little bit of action and he gave me a couple of of things to take home and practice uh, with the Kali sticks and I practiced them like mad and uh, it worked out and it just turned into something organically that was a part of Taylor so I continued to train with um, a number of martial artists as well as stunt performers who obviously have their background in martial arts, and I took it seriously, and I, I really loved it. I loved that aspect of her. So, yes, I did have to learn martial arts. Let's look at the next question. Uh, do you remember the first time you saw Jason Momoa on set? Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Do I remember the first time? Um, I mean, listen, yeah, he's he's obviously uh, a really big presence, <laughs> as well as being a really big guy. So uh, I do remember the first time seeing him, and uh, I just remember thinking a that he was this incredibly statuesque dude, um, and b that he was super super sweet. Uh, there was just something that emanated from him that was just really sweet, like uh, like a really big heart, really, really playful, um, really good natured. Um, obviously, for all of you people who follow him, some of you I'm sure, <laughs> concur, super handsome. But um, I just remember, I just remember thinking how, how um, good natured he was. Like it just kind of came from the soul level that he was just a really good guy. And that's what I remember. And I was really, really happy to get him um, as one of our new castmates. And and, uh, and then, you know, years, years and years of, of playing with him, it was all awesome. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Um, what is he like to work with as an actor? Is he serious or more lighthearted? Okay, um, well, I think I just answered that actually in, um, in what I just said regarding the first time I saw him, but I'm happy to reiterate. Um, what does he work like working with? So for me, you know, I mean, I haven't worked with Jason for years now, and he's had an opportunity to work on a lot of really, really big things, and and um, 
he's honed his skill and and he's grown as an actor as well as a human being and um, an individual in the entertainment industry. So, but back in the day, back in the day when we were working together, he was awesome to work with and he was super lighthearted, super lighthearted, um, really, really easygoing, um, loved to have fun, very, very playful. Uh, I always likened to Jason back in the day as, as like a really big puppy. Um, you know, serious when he had to be, obviously he took his role seriously, but, but he was just so much fun to work with. He was just super, super fun to, to be around because he's just, uh, all in all, a really, really great guy. So there you go. Let's take a look at the next question. Um, ba 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 What has the role of Taylor meant to you personally and in your career? So I loved, I loved being Taylor. Um, I just thought she was such an incredible and, and unique character. I loved portraying um, a, a really well-rounded female character. You know, she wasn't just like your Barbie doll uh, pretty girl. She was incredibly intelligent and insightful and intuitive and grounded and tough um, and pragmatic. And she was just a very, very well-rounded character. And um, and I, and I loved I loved encompassing her and, and bringing her to life. That was just a joy. So let's just say that first and foremost. Um, in terms of my career, uh, listen, it's always a boon to, to be on a show that's successful and um, and that has a, a lovely fan following. Thank you to all of you amazing fans. Um, and that takes me to the second question, uh, part of the question, which is how is it like in your life? And let me just say that um, you know, when we were back in the day filming, uh, it was just kind of our little bubble and we were together and we were having a lot of fun and uh, enjoying working with each other, um, the, my fellow actors as well as, you know, everybody on the crew and behind the scenes. It was just like a really big, wonderful family and we had ball. But um, what was incredible to me and is still incredible to me is how all of that reverberated outside of our little world where we were shooting and and resonated with you guys, the fans. Um, that's incredible and it still moves me really, really deeply to know that um, what we did and what I, what I did and what I was a part of um, had such an impact on so many people's lives. Um, that always kind of takes my breath away and um, I'm always really deeply moved to hear stories from fans about how uh, Atlantis helped them through uh, rough times or just how it lightened up their life. Um, that's pretty amazing and, and I'm incredibly honored to have been a part of that. So uh, that's a long-winded answer to that question and let's move on to the next. Um, do you ever hear from fans who saw or see your strong, badass character of Taylor as an inspiration or role model? Yeah, so that, that kind of plays off of what I was just saying about um, being incredibly humbled by the fact that the character that I brought to life resonates so deeply with many, many people, and, and uh, that's part of the it's just it's just incredible it's 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 it blows my mind and yes I have heard from a number of people um, I've heard from people who've named their their daughters after Taylor and um, I've heard from young women who were inspired by her to either learn martial arts or to just kind of stand up for themselves or to pursue things that they never thought that they could uh, and and it's in, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I uh, I think that she was uh, an incredible role model, and and I love hearing that, and I do. So uh, that's something that is truly humbling. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Let's see. Um, okay, talk a little bit about your musical theater background, singing, dancing, and theatrical theatrical productions. Uh, I started um, way, way back as a dancer. I, uh, I danced for many, many years. Um, 
I trained in ballet and then after that um, kind of more modern and I did musical theater for many, many years and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I love being on stage. Um, I love singing and I don't dance that much anymore unless it's in a nightclub or at home. <laughs> uh, I love to dance, but um, but uh, that time in my life was, was pretty, pretty awesome. And, um, and I still sing. Uh, that's always going to be a part of, a part of my life. And uh, yeah, it was, it was just incredible. I love musical theater. I love musical theater. I love being on stage. I love interacting with the audience. You guys don't know how much you play in, in the actual uh, presentation. Like each and every night when the audience is different, the show is different entirely because we feel the energy and I love that. And um, yeah, I got to perform in a number of big shows with my big sis who to me was always the better dancer. Um, and she took me under her wing and when we were doing the audition, she would kind of pull me aside and like help break down the routines. And so then I would master it and, and uh, we booked a lot of the shows together, which was pretty special. So that time in my life is a very, very special time in my life. Um, okay, let's look at some of the other questions. Let's see, okay, you recorded a CD in 2011 with some of the industry's finest musicians. This is true. Can you tell us how that project came together and what was involved in getting it produced? Um, so, yeah, I just, I've always loved to sing. My dad, my amazing father, um, who is no longer with us, um, and I miss deeply, um, was an amazing singer, and he taught all of us girls, my sisters, how to sing. And so singing was always a part of our life and our world. And um, and so, and, and it's just it's just a part of who I am. I've, I've just always enjoyed it. And, and I thought it might be really awesome to put together a CD. And I did, and I worked really, really hard on it. And I worked with some wonderful producers and um, musicians and I, you know, picked songs and it was kind of magical. It was just super, super magical uh, to be a part of it and to sit and to listen to these incredible musicians who to me were like so humbling. I mean, they were, they were like top tier and I got to record at Capitol Records, which is an iconic place. Uh, I mean, just musically throughout the world, it's iconic, but certainly in Hollywood, it's just, it's amazing. And just walking into it and, and uh, seeing all the musicians set up was, was incredible. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always going to be really, really proud of that CD. And, um, you know, it's, it's something for me to whoever enjoys uh, beautiful kind of classical jazz, which will never go out of style, I think. And uh, yeah, it was it was an amazing, it was an amazing undertaking. It took a lot of work, but I'm super proud of it, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, next question. Um, you have a production company with your husband, Lloyd Bateman. Yes. Feral Child Productions. Let us in on what short films you were working on, what has already been completed, and what is on the horizon. So, yeah, my husband and I, my husband Lloyd Bateman, who has been a top-tier stunt performer for many, many years, he's incredibly talented and has done a huge variety of, of movies and television series. Uh, and I, um, we collaborate and uh, we've worked together on a number of scripts and we've, we've worked on three short films together. One was called Zarg Attack, starring our little guy who's no longer that little. And uh, one is Requiem, uh, which actually stars my beautiful sister, Erica Luttrell, who's also a wonderful actress in and of her own right. And, uh, and then um, we, uh, we, did, we did another one with a good friend of ours, Kayla Adams. And, um, and I'm proud of all of them. Uh, at the moment, we have three completed scripts. Um, one of them is uh, a family kind of road trip story, uh, and the other one is a fantasy action sci-fi. 
and one of them is uh, a sci-fi film noir. So it's a film noir with sci-fi, with huge sci-fi elements. And I'm working on a couple of other scripts right now as well. And the dream is to produce all of them and to bring them to light. And I would love for Lloyd to direct. That's really what he wants to do. So our, um, our production company is burgeoning. Uh, but we have another a number of projects that, that we're working on. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to tell you guys more about it. Stay tuned. Send good energy towards it. Let's just say that. Send good energy. Um, I love to write. And I would love to produce these movies. So, there you go. Moving along. Uh, da, da, da. What are your current passion projects, things you were involved with, that you would like to tell us about? Passion projects. Well, it kind of um, leaps off of the last question. Um, I, am, I am writing, and I have created a number of scripts. My most recent passion project is The Road Trip Story, which is a feature film, and um, will hopefully star myself and my son, who, our son, Lloyd and I, who also wants to be an actor, and um, it's just a great story about an estranged mom and her young son, kind of a coming-of-age story, and how the two of them come together on this road trip. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited about that, and I want to, I want to bring it to light. I'm also writing a another script that is based on my parents' story and how they met. Uh, my father, my father was from Louisiana, and um, he was a self-proclaimed uh, redneck from Louisiana who became, I mean, incredibly well-educated. He was an academic and and uh, published and uh, was an economist and um, an environmentalist and many, many wonderful things. So he was from Louisiana and he moved to Tanzania to work on his thesis, uh, on his PhD, and he met my mom who is a native Tanzanian uh, there in Tanzania. And um, they just have this most beautiful love story, two people from an incredibly different variety of lives. How uh, my my um, dad grew up in the South and um, had uncles who were in the Klan and my mom who grew up in the Usambara Mountains and Rainforest region of Tanzania very very secluded and the two of them met and fell in love and against all odds you know, managed to create this wonderful life and brought us to being. Anyway, so I'm working on that. I definitely want to tell that story and I'm writing it. And uh, so that's a passion project. I'm also, um, I'm also very passionate about various different charities, including UNICEF and, um, and uh, Save the Children. So those are, those are some things that I'm passionate about. So send some good vibes and good energy those that way. All right, let's move on. There are a lot of questions. Um, okay, so what, uh, blah, 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 blah. How do you use social media? How do you use social media? So guys, I am a social media Luddite. I am, um, I'm pr a pretty private person. Uh, even though I'm an actress, I am a pretty private person. So social media has been kind of tricky for me um, because it's hard for me to put myself out there unless I have somebody who's kind of driving me along saying this is what you have to do. So I use it. I use it to touch base with, with my fans and uh, to let them know that uh, I'm still here and <laughs> you guys can ask me whatever questions you want and to stay kind of tapped into that world. And, um, and also, you know, to promote causes that, that I'm passionate about and um, just to share stories uh, about what I'm doing and how, what I'm doing with my family and, and, um, and to hear stories back from the people that I care about, and and my wonderful fans out there. So I am uh, I'm learning I'm learning how to be a little uh, less uh, less intimidated by the whole notion of social media and um, and to use it 
as a wonderful way to just to just reach out and to share what's going on and how I'm doing and what I'm doing and and to hear from you guys so there we go all right so I think I've answered all those questions oh my god um that was fun okay <laughs> thanks everybody thanks for writing in and uh thank you for your questions